over to Kathy. Yeah, that's for the summer, but how about spring break? This is really last minute. If you're looking at what to do during that week, a fun option is the spring break camp they're offering at Piddock Mansion. Look at this. Kids can learn about what life was like in the mansion more than 100 years ago. Joining us with more on that is Amy Mintanya. And Amy, you know, this is one of those camps where cell phones have to be not allowed at all, right? Because we're talking 100 years ago. Exactly, yeah. Um, it really ignites um, kids' imaginations to see what life was like 100 years ago. Even um, the example of the phone you brought up, the candlestick telephone with, you know, the mouthpiece and the earpiece, they don't even know what it's for a lot of times, which is really <laughs> funny. That dial? Yeah. Uh, show us some of the other activities they do. You, you put them to work doing laundry? Sure. Well, we give them insight um, as to what it was like for, um, you know, servants working in the home and the family living in the home. Um, so we start off with uh, some chores. Uh, this is an old-fashioned um, laundry ringer. So we show them how you would um, take, uh, you know, a bar of soap. This soap was available in 1914. And uh, you'd, you know, scrub it on your washing board, rinse it out, and then uh, ring it here. Do you want to try sure, the ringer? Sure, sure. I'll try it. So yeah. I'm going to hold this, and you can just um, run it that way, I believe. Okay, and is this an original piece that was It's not the original mansion? to the Pittocks, but uh -huh. it's um, a style that they could have had um, 100 years ago. Oh, my exactly. goodness. So every piece of oh, laundry you have you to, had to scrub do this? every piece and ring every piece out. So it really gives kids perspective on uh, how much has changed. Yes, yeah. and you were telling me about the calling card. I've never heard of this before. You kindly printed my name on a call calling card. Now, how yes. would I use this? So um, that would work as if um, you were visiting a friend or business associate. You would come prepared with your calling card with your name on it, and then um, you'd hand it to their butler, and uh, you'd mark corners to indicate different things. Um, the top left mark would be a congratulatory visit. The bottom left would be um, condolences. Uh, the top right would mean you came in person, and the bottom right would mean that um, you're going on a long trip, so you're stopping in to say hi before then. Wow, all just to get in the front door? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, the early 1900s. Uh, social media, the, uh -huh. the silver tray yeah. of the calling cards you got. Oh, and am I seeing calligraphy? The, the kids do calligraphy at the camp? Yeah, they try out um, a dip pen, which is what people use to write. Um, so that's a big uh, change for them and something small and every day that's just so mm -hmm. different. Oh, really just, I mean, fantastic trip back. And what a reaction do the kids have? Oh, they're just in awe. It's so surprising to them. They love um, exploring the mansion. They go through the 23 um, rooms always open to the public, but also some um, behind the scenes um, spaces like the servants' quarters and basement. All right, we'll close it up with the animal crackers. These weren't around 100 years ago, were they? They were, they were? yeah. So um, some of the things in the goodie bag uh, the kids go home with are some snacks that were available in 1914, including animal crackers, uh, Oreos, and Hershey Kisses. Oh, who knew? Yeah. Well, Amy, thanks so much for coming by. If you'd like more, it's PiddockMansion.org, and the camp goes from 9 to 1230. The date's there the 27th or the 28th. When we come back,